Hi, this is Bhaskar Napte from Pharma Growth Hub, and I welcome you all in today's discussion. So, what is the point of discussion today? It is related to stability study in the pharmaceutical industry. So, as a part of this discussion, we will try to understand some of the very important common terms which needs to be understood before you jump into the pharmaceutical stability study. So, what are those important terms? And the first and foremost, we will try to understand the stability study itself. So, what is the definition of a stability study and why one must conduct the stability study? will be discussed at the point number one. The second point is about the long-term testing conditions. What is meant by a long-term testing? The third important common term is the, what is meant by accelerated testing? The fourth one is what is meant by intermediate testing? And the fifth one is, I will talk about until these four terms for in this video, and the next common terms will be discussed in the next video. Let us begin with the discussion of the very first common term, that is the definition of stability study itself. So what is meant by a stability study? Now before I move on to the definition given by the ICH, WHO or many another regulators, let us first understand what are the important points which are related to the stability study and they can be critical quality attributes or CQA. CQA stands for the critical critical quality attributes. Right? So what are the critical quality attributes for a drug product? It could be such as uh, biological, chemical, physical, isn't it? So these are the some of the critical quality attributes of the drug product. And in case of example, if you want to understand the, the physical critical quality attributes can be a description, isn't it? The chemical critical, critical quality attributes can be the assay of the drug product or impurities present into the drug product. Biological critical quality attributes can be bioavailability or bioequivalence. And the microbiological critical attributes could be sterility or microbial limit states. Now, why it is important to achieve all these critical quality attributes throughout the shelf life of the product? Because you need to meet something called as the QTPP. Now, this is the purpose of developing a product. The QTPP stands for Quality Target Product Profile. Now, how the QTPP will be realized? The QTPP will be realized once your CQA are within the specification. That means this is the indirect confirmation of the QTP. If the CQA gets met, that also confirms that our quality target product profile must have also got met. So hence it is very important to understand there are physical, chemical, biological and microbiological CQA or crit critical quality attributes. So what are the influencing factors through the storage period? Now why these CQAs get influenced? Why these CQAs uh, probably get uh, affected? And there could be some storage factors which are going to influence our CQAs. And now these are the, the, the factors which can certainly influence on our CQA. The first one is temperature, isn't it? The temperature can be the influencing factor on CQA like assay or impurities. Even the microbiological integrity also can get compromised because of the higher temperature. The light can also be an influencing factor as far as the, the product's physical, sometimes chemical attributes are concerned. And humidity is also one of the very critical influencing factor as far as some of the important CQAs are concerned. So these are the three important factors which can certainly influence our CQA of the product. And hence it is very important to realize that these three factors shall be considered over the period of stability study. And we'll talk about the temperature, light and humidity conditions when you talk about the different stability conditions, maybe long term, accelerated or intermediate. And here is the definition now. So what is the purpose of conducting the stability study? 
the purpose of conducting the stability studies to define continued conform conformance of the drug substance or drug product to its specification with respect to physical chemical biological and microbiological attributes throughout the storage period and use under the influence of temperature light and humidity now why these three conditions are selected temperature light and humidity are selected because these are the available factors during the storage of the product or during the consumption of the product and hence their impact needs to be studied their impact needs to be studied on to the critical quality attributes like physical chemical biological and microbiological attributes in a such a way that they continue to meet the specification if you have set the specification for example assay should not be less than 98% and should not be more than 102% you have to understand that whether your assay is always in between 198 to 10% or not not at the release time right but throughout the shelf life shelf life plus plus also during the use right so it is not only required to meet the spec only at the shelf life but also during the use during the consumption some products you know they are having the the multiple uh, dosage packaged into the single container and this container is going to get consumed over of a period that is around 30 days so when i open the container when i open the container now isn't it now the packaging integrity is going to get lost but i have another let us say uh, a uh, five or six dosage units needs to be consumed over a period of let us say one week so what is going to be the the quality of this uh, <clears throat> left over dosage unit that is called as the in use stability study what is that called as that is called as the in use stability study so it is very important to make you clear over here that it is also important to confirm that the product meets the in use stability study also and that is the entire purpose or essence of conducting the stability study i think uh, we will meet in the next video on another important common terms thank you so much